Yeah, I, I'm up for any any changes that anyone could utilize for sure. Uh, airline is Snack Air 5721. We're departing Richfield, going to Salt Lake City. Airframe is a TBM. And the route today is just via, Fair, via Fairfield. Interesting. Okay. I might choose the more complicated one. Puma Delta Victor 21 Fairfield. 156 miles. What's the direct one? 124. All right, we'll go direct Fairfield. That's fine. It's probably what you get in the real world as well. Save the flight. Generate the uh, OFP. Then your FBO manager role could be a simple script. That would be nice. That would be very nice. I'm kind of surprised at how awesome uh, D Moneys is. Well, not surprised. He is just awesome. But that whole FSE power search is just so... I use it all the time. All right, now that uh, that's been planned out, we're going to go back into the Navi graph charts and we're going to go to flights, new flight, from Simbrief, use Richfield to Salt Lake City, close that map. So it's 124 miles up to Salt Lake City. And yeah, looks good. So now we'll come down here. I haven't reset the plane, but we're going to go ahead and delete the flight plan, Richfield, and then we're going to put in the Fairfield VOR, which is right next to a really great golf course called Talon's Cove. And I really do think that aviation should use golf courses as, as navigational waypoints. They're much, much easier to spot than some waypoints. And then we'll go on into Salt Lake City. That looks good. We'll see. Keep our same squawk. Here's the golf course. Uh, he becomes more awesome with six nanny lights in his system. <laughs> oh, you know, it's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> he does become more awesome over Natty Light. Yep, yep, I've, I've witnessed it. So I was watching this YouTube channel, Dogo. I hope you're well. Happy Sunday. And uh, the uh, this 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 guy who's a home brewer, his name's Ch. He's at a local pub, and he he takes a sip of something, and he's like, "That tastes like Keystone Light." And everyone started making fun of him because it was it was uh, Ballast Points California Kolsch. Yeah, Ballast Point California Kolsch, which Ballast Point is a pretty revered commercial brewery in Southern California and maybe a few other places, but they have I know they ha they have a good presence in Southern Cal. Anyway, everyone was making fun of him, but then he decided to have a blind taste test. And so he put up, um, he put up Keystone Light versus California Kolsch from ba Ballast Point, and then had had people uh, try to determine which one was which. So Keystone Light versus Ballast Point. I'm thinking that it's gonna be here. It is. Whenever you're ready. All right. So this guy, we'll watch this video. Welcome to this week's episode. It, see, so he's sitting there, and people are doing blind taste tests between Keystone Light and Ballast Point. Uh, yeah. Any of you home brewers might enjoy that video for later. But right there. Yeah, good brewery. Yep, yep. All right, Key Smooth. There you go. All right, let's get this show on the road. We're going to hit start flight. And we got passengers loaded. I'm going to do takeoff flaps. I'm going to do the trim for takeoff. As you can see it's being animated here as I change my trim with my joystick slider. There we go. Trim is now set for takeoff. Uh, squat code is set 5543. 
and uh, let's set our altitude. I believe we're still on an easterly. I guess it's still an easter uh, easterly altitude, but we're going. Yeah, we'll put we'll go up to fifteen thousand for this one. So I'm gonna uh, rotate my altitude knob for this point right here. I'm gonna rotate that up to fifteen thousand, and I think we're good to go. And again, our headphones are on our head right now. Right there is the Bose headphones. So we got almost zero noise. Parking brake coming off. And Richfield traffic, a blue and white TBM. Entering runway 194 a Northbound departure, we will be uh, turning right after departure. Richfield, traffic. Why is rudder trim so far off? Ah, uh, I didn't notice that. Oh, you're right. I wonder, I wonder why that is. Maybe I accidentally did it. There's aileron trim. I don't even, I don't even know if I have rudder trim mapped but that's a good spot there kevs maybe that explains my landing um let's go let's go into the uh controls joystick and we're gonna do a Keyboard, rudder trim, rudder trim, center six. Will that really work? Do you think? And then our five or seven. Oh, I wonder if I accidentally hit those. Okay, so six, five, seven. Oops, that's not working. Uh, rudder center not mapped. That might be an MFG crosswind calibration situation. Is that possible? Uh, do I have an available access to map that? Probably not. Actually, I do have this little mappy thing down there. Let's try this. So if we go here... And I change this to joystick. And I change the left side hat switch. And we change this to... Uh, that's yaw trim left or right. Um, yeah, we could do that. Left. Yaw trim left and then yaw trim right. It should work, right? Off skid descent, how are you doing? Okay, so there's the rudder trim. So we were able to find the mapping for that. Thank you, Kevs, for noticing that. All right, here we go. Okay, let's turn the volume up for departure only. Why not, right? Here we go. Parking brake off. All 
Off scale descent. How are you doing? Are you streaming today? Here we go. Don't over torque, John Fly. There we go. Airspeed live and well and rotate. Ro ro oh, there's a tree. An agave plant in the runway. Okay, gear up. going to continue up until we get to an altitude that uh, we can make the turn. You get fired if you stream today. <laughs> working, working, working. That reminds me of that song, Boss Man Says You're Gonna Get Fired. It ain't your and I need to shave. What song is that? Boss man says you're gonna get fired. All right, I think I gotta make the left or the right turn now. Yep. All right, flaps are up. Uh, we're looking good. 90% uh, torque. Uh, we're fa oh, and flying still. A little bit of turbulence. Ground, ground crew needs to take care of that bush on the, the agave plant on the runway. Yeah, I would agree with that. Okay, I'm going to sync up my heading bu bug by hitting the button. I'm going to go autopilot. And then I'm going to go um, heading mode. I'm going to do flight level change. We're going to climb at 120, which will. There we go. <laughs> what a fantastic bird. Now we're going to come in here and we're going to go direct Fairfield VOR. So we'll. Uh, highlight this come up to Fairfield and we'll go actually what if I do this activate leg yep that'll work and then I hit nav Oop. there's the nav button and now we're direct the Fairfield VOR Uh, altimeter is a little bit off, so 3005 set. Uh, we're going up to 15,000 feet. We're at 11.5, climbing at 1,600 feet per minute. Uh, we're climbing at 120 knots in indicated airspeed mode. We got 93 miles to the Fairfield VOR. Um, so I think I should connect to D Money's ham radio <laughs> in cruise. And chase a poda. Just one poda is all I'm asking for. Just one. Actually, I might. I could do remote RHR as well. Uh, we don't kit anything when we fly. Not even nav. We don't kit anything. Kit anything. Kit. I'm trying. Hit. You mean? Hit. Okay. 
you don't hit anything when you fly, not even nav. Yeah, that's the easy button way, right? Hand fly. All right, we're 13.7, climbing to 15,000. When we get up, um, I'll tell you what. When we get up to cruise, which will be here in just a moment, go ahead and for the next two minutes, well, no, I, for the next, go ahead, put in a guess of what our ground speed is going to be uh, in cruise in what it will be in three minutes from now. Put your guess in now. Three minutes, timer started. But put your guess in in the next minute for, I'll, I'll give away 1,500 snacks. Guess what the ground speed is going to be um, in 2 minutes, 48 seconds. What will, what will my ground speed be? Okay, we've got 380, 231, 302. By the way, the winds are zero right now. And that's real world weather. That's weird. You'd think there'd be some wind up at 15,000. But anyway, 1,500 snacks. Mach 1.57. Well, I have knots indicated, so. And whatever it is in 2 minutes, 13 seconds. Kev says 275. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say 267. I can win, too. I'm going to say 267. Minute 50. No, you can't re-guess. <laughs> so far, it's, it's either D-Money's or Kev's. Unless someone else wants to guess. Now that they have a little bit more information. I'll say guessing for another 28 seconds. Scotty Bob's in at 221. Well, seeing that our... All right. 10 seconds more for a guess. I'm looking for ground speed. Not, not indicated, but ground. SK McConnell says 233, and he did it just right before the uh, timer. So 53 seconds. And I can tell you right now that ground speed is 238 and 239 now and climbing. And the torque's going up to 97% as normal. Let me ha have a minute and see that, that DME ticking down. Okay, the ground speed is now 250 and rising. Two fifty four, ten seconds. Two fifty six, two fifty seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Two sixty on the nose. Two sixty on the nose and still climbing. So who was close to two sixty? Well, I was. I'll give it to uh, I'll, I'll give it to the two closest here, which was uh, I'll give it to Kev's and C two hundred six. I'll give them a thousand each. Thanks for playing. By the way, those snacks are good for prizes. We gave away uh, fifty dollars in prizes last week. That was pretty good. One guy chose cryptocurrency as his prize, and then cryptocurrency dived. Dived down the whole week is bad. Uh, snacks add to Kev's. One thousand. Snacks add. By the way, we're at two seventy now. Um, snacks add. C 
206. Come down. Cryptocurrency will return. Sounds like a time to buy. I would I would agree with that. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that it will return this week or next week or the following week. But in long the long term, if, if you want to just put money in and let it sit there. My plan is to let all my cryptocurrency sit until my daughter graduates high school in 15 years. And I'm not going to cash in any of it. But the problem is, is, okay, so I've got this cryptocurrency, right? And there's there's this increase in value for me so far, even with the dip. Do I have to pay taxes on that increase, even though I'm not turning it in, it, tur I'm not turning it into cash? And do you pay taxes? Can you offset your the loss of value if it goes down? It's just, yeah. But yeah, you're not a day trader. I know that for sure. I'm not one either. I used to be, but. Not anymore. I retired from that game. Not until you pull it out to USD. Okay. That's what I, that was my impression. So I'm not touching it for, like I say, 15 years. I'm just going to let it ride for 15 years. The problem will be is in 10 years or it's five years, let's say five years when it's worth a lot of money, I'll be like, man, I should just pull it out. But then if I just wait another 10 years beyond that, then it'll be like huge numbers, right? And we'll be sitting here on Twitch flying a whatever we're flying, and I'll be go I'll be saying, you remember that stream back in 2021 when I was talking about the cryptocurrency, and I wasn't gonna sell until this date. Well, I'd sold a long time ago, <laughs> and if I hadn't have done it, I would have 17 gazillion dollars. All right, we're uh, 63 miles to Fairfield. By the way, our ground speed right now, if you look up here on the PFD, is 273 knots. Imagine if we got up to up to the flight levels, what would our ground speed be then? Yep, that would be pretty cool. Get off my cyber lawn. <laughs> hey. Oh, someone misspelled. That's funny. Yeah, I knew you corrected that. How how you doing? <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have allowed that permitted term. How do we do a forward slash add underscore? Den is it underscore deny underscore term? I didn't mean to allow that misspelling. Um. The problem is, in 10 years, it's going to be found as a big Ponzi scheme. Well, you, you heard what China did, right? China's, like, cracking down on it. And and there's a lot of... There it is. H-O-E. A lot of... Gonna go garden with my hoe. Exactly. Um, there's a lot of people that, um, you know, are all about, hey, this is a, a very easy way for organized crime to transfer, you know, money back and forth on, you know, you can't trace it, detect. You know what? Come to think of it, though, I think recently, didn't the group, didn't the group that was partially behind the pipeline hack, didn't they get something like 5 million seized in cryptocurrency? It's very traceable. IP is public. I think the actual transaction, though, is not public information meaning it but apparently the, someone got the five million five million or something like that seized and it was probably out of a a place like coinbase or something like this are there any dividends or capital gains paid in the meantime that's i guess apparently if you don't convert to cash then it's maybe you don't have to pay the capital gains i don't know The IP is public, but at the same time, if you go, let's say I go into a, uh, if I go into a public Wi-Fi area and I use my burner laptop to log into my wallet and I transfer X amount of Bitcoin to someone else or receive X amount of Bitcoin, the IP address doesn't mean anything.
You can trace it. It's not able to be faked, though, actually a new form of technology. How do you trace a Bitcoin transaction if it's from client to client? How do you do that? I'm waiting for snack coins because I invest in crypto. I, I wanted flight sim coin. I wanted you to be able to fly in the plane and a program be so savvy to detect fraud and cheating that it would discount your flight if you tried to manipulate the system. But as you did flights for snack air, you would, you would build up a uh, cryptocurrency and I should do it like a blockchain or something like that. A burner laptop. Is that a thing? I, I guess it is now. <laughs> uh, let's just say the average user, it's more traceable than cash. Criminals will always be able to alter things to make it harder. Mm. The future FS coin right there. Definitely is a thing, says Shell. Yep, I would assume so. Cali Linux is your friend. Yeah, well, so is Onion. Onion and Tor? Is it Tor? I think it's Tor. Anyway, I think it's, to me, I think it's very difficult for someone to, for example, if I have X amount of Bitcoin, if I transfer that to D monies, I think it would be very difficult for someone to find out who that came from and went to. But then again, I'm not an expert in that way. Yeah. Yeah, the onion router. Yeah, exactly. All right, we've got uh, 42 miles to the Fairfield VOR. We're just making our way, making our way in the world today. Takes everything we fill in the blank for snacks. Making our way in the world today takes everything we. First person to give me the next word in the phrase, homie live wins. Sometimes you wanna go. Where everybody knows your name. And your FS economy's never quite the same. Home alive. Let's just give him 777. By the way, the other thing I'm going to do is uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, homie live, but you are, uh, you have the X plane beta and you're saving up for the full blown X plane, correct? Uh, I need to go to, go to here, there. Hat Trick Co, how you doing, sir? <laughs> All right, I'm making a change, making a change, making a change. I wonder when, um, I wonder when X-Plane 12 is coming out. Uh, let's do an end date of 07 slash 31 slash 2021. X-Plane 11 for homie, right? You didn't buy it, right, homie? You're on the, you were tried the demo out, I think, on that new Ryzen computer. All right, I've got a, uh, for the next couple of weeks or months, I've got a, a dono goal for uh, Homie Live US to get X-Plane 11. He uh, just recently upgraded his computer, and so he's finally able to get uh, X-Plane 11, but uh, I'll throw in a fiver for Homie. So we're at 8.33% of the goal, and maybe over the next month or two, we'll be able to raise the funds for Homie Live US to get... X-Plane 11. Um, 
Uh, let me back up here a little bit here. Uh, Off scale descent says, uh, Shell, I'm not very bright. I just learned what a hot box is last night listening to a flight attendant talk about the airport parking lot. An airport employee parking lot. There you go. Faceless man says, yes, if you use basic wallet like Coinbase, it's e yeah, hardcore criminals could have three, could have their own wallet software and do it. You don't need special apps. Yeah. It's true. Homie Live, did you say you do have it? Do we need to change the dono goal to a plane now? Eventually, you have to translate that Bitcoin into dollars. So you follow the Bitcoins until they have a transaction with a bank account or human at the other end. But there are services to send coins through random wallets. There you go. And the other thing, too, is that you could just transfer it to other people. But then, it, yeah, I just think that laundering is easier. So that may get some crackdown. Uh, B2 says, I can see uh, hat trick code. Hello again. I could just see uh, B2 says, I can see block coin or sorry, blockchain is a useful tool, but the coins are more of a pyramid scheme. Let's meet back in 20 and see, and only then will anyone really know. Yeah, that's true. Even a year from now, we'll be telling, I think. Flyboy's up. What's up, Fly? Flyboy built a gigantic robot yesterday out of used cardboard boxes. And this this robot, off scale descent, is, I'm, is taller than I am. And it's all made out of cardboard. And it's got legs and arms. His mother took him to the store and he asked for, of all things, Flyboy asked for duct tape. You know, he could have a toy from the store, but no, he asked for duct tape. It's awesome. Uh, when X-Plane 12 comes out, that'll make it two flight simulators that my PC can't run. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, Will Finader, how you doing? I got to start my descent. Uh, yeah, we're going to start our descent. So I'm going to... Let me catch up with chat in just a second. I'm going to do an altitude select down to 11. Uh, we'll go down to uh, 8,000 feet. I'm going to do a uh, vertical descent. And we're going to go down at uh, 900 feet per minute. How do you donate to the cause? Um, there's a donate uh, button on the profile below. I believe that'll work. But good to see you, Wolfinator. Thank you, Hattrick, for inquiring. That's yeah, yeah. It was it was pretty cool. Hondo thirty nine up. <laughs> Wait, how does that how does that start that when he's building a robot? He, he he didn't ask for a Raspberry Pi. No, not yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do some flight planning for the approach. Of course, our weather, our altimeter is 3007. And our Navigraph charts, Salt Lake City, open up the charts. Do approach. Do we want to do, uh, let's do ILS. Well, yeah, we'll do ILS 17. That's fine. Or do we do RNAV? Do we do, oh, RNAV is LNAV only. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll do, IL, let's do ILS. ILS 17, because that's what the GA would land on. Or actually, no, I want to. I don't want to do 37. I want to do 35. I take it back. So runway 35 only has an LDA or an RNAV. All right. Well, let's overlay the. Uh, let's do the RNAV. Um, RNAV runway 35, and it is an LP and LNAV. LNAV. And we need to be at uh, Kern at 6100. So, I'm going to shoot for Zepog at 9 or 1,000. So, 9,000 is set. Our plane is right here. That's our plane coming in. And we need to, we need to make this a little more aggressive on our descent. I'm going to pull back the power. So, now that we've chosen our approach... Let's do it on the G1000. Oh, we got a dono. We got a dono. Oh, I gotta move this. 
Oh, we got it. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, we got an accidental over over dono. There you go. I was Scotsman. Thank you for the twenty dollar dono. Hat Trick Co. Thank you for the fifty five dollar dono. I think what we should do, and this would be appropriate in my opinion, is that we can um, we can hook up uh, we can hook up uh, Homie Live US with the X Plane Twelve, and then we'll throw him a little extra to pick up a plane maybe. Uh, there he. Yeah, yeah, that timing there. There you go. Yeah, I was going to say, put it toward a plane. Uh, I'm going to select the approach, and we're going to do RNAV uh, 17. Sorry, RNAV 35. Uh, GPS via uh, Fairfield. We're already over Fairfield. So we'll go by a helmet, and we'll activate that. And I'm gonna because we're getting into the airspace. I'm gonna go uh, slow down quite a bit. Thank you guys. That's awesome. Thank you for the bits, Hondo. Thank you, uh, Hat Trick and Iowa Scotsman. You guys are gentlemen. Um, and uh, yeah, that, there's the choice there, Homie Live. Is do you want it on Steam or do you want it uh, direct? Let let me know one way or the other and uh we can get you uh squared away thank you guys you're very generous we know homie live has has been with us for a long time participating in many of our adventures and uh, i think he'll really enjoy x-plane be patient with the programming of the um of the joystick and or mouse and keyboard controller okay i need to slow down all right, we are at 9,000, and we need to be 9,000 at head, uh, yeah, we're good. So once we, I'll show you where we are. I'll keep it at 180 knots, give or take. Um, so here we are, we're just passing helmet, and then pedal, Zepog, Kern, Weissu, whatever. Um, this, by the way, this Kern is after the city called Kerns, which is the Olympic skating oval so the the hockey during the olympics was played near this waypoint kern i don't know what zepog means or pedal but go ahead and put your uh whoa uh feel free to put in your landing rate guesses now just once just one and I promise that I will go, I will, I'll add, I'll give everyone 400 snacks if I don't get below 200. If I don't get below 200, I'll give everyone 400. I better write that. Can someone write that down, what I just said? I'll give everyone 400 if I, if my landing rate is above 200. You can guarantee it's going to be a floater B2, but it, it can't be a bounce though. A bounce, a bounce would, would, well, I guess it's going to be, a, it could be a bounce, I guess, but whatever landing rate's displayed. On bounces, normally your landing rate's going to be above the 200. Can someone type that in chat for me since I don't have any piece of paper next to me? Just type in, um, if landing rate above 200, John Fly is going to give everyone, there we go, shell script, there you go, thank you. That's the biggest uh, snack prize I've given to everyone at one time. You're not far from Lake Placid. I remember that. I remember that Olympics as a kid. That will date me. There you go, homie live, backing it up. All right. Uh, uh oh, there was the plane. Okay, the plane turned. Got a little bit of clouds here. That's cool. By the way, there's Snack Air's uh, U-42 airport right off that way. Oh. And by the way, D Money's 327. Right here is Poda 5990, I think. That flight state park right there. Is it 5990 or anyway, that that's a parks on the air right there for ham radio. Right there, baby. And then of course, 
up here, as I said, this is U-42 airport, which is my home airport. All right, I need to engage approach mode. Approach mode. I missed it. Okay, now we got to get down back on profile. I was sitting there chit-chatting. I missed it. All right. Throttle coming back. We're clear to land. Runway 17. I knew if I how to make models, I would totally do a little field day setup and plop it in a bunch of state parks. Oh, man. Can you imagine the parks on the air scenery pack for X-Plane 11? Haha, <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. My brother-in-law was at that rink when USA beat Russia. Oh, he also went to Woodstock. Yeah, there you go. There's a little bit of chit-chat about Olympics coming back to Salt Lake City. All right, we're supposed to be at current at 6,100. We're way high. I did it again. Oops, I did it again. First name of the artist for snacks. Okay, 73. Yep, there's snacks. The money's got it. <laughs> Back to splitting wood. All right, Hondo. Thanks again for the uh, the bits. I typed it three times, not sure how to spell her name. Yeah, I'm not even sure if... I, c I don't even know. I got to reward those... A ro a little, a little. Can I award those snacks while uh, while landing? All right, let's try the approach button. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, we're in. Oh, more bits. Thank you. Have a good time. Oh crap. Getting slow. Yeah, I know. All right. There you go, plane. Start to descend. There you go. There you go. What's weird is it looks offset. Because we're landing that runway right there. And we're coming in offset. I guess this is also an offset approach. Huh. Maybe it's offset because it's so close to 3, 5, or sorry, 3, 4 right. I don't know. But we're definitely automated right now. Is it a scheduled offset approach? I think so. All right, uh, landing rates, G give me your last guesses. Any last guesses? I'll give away I'll give away two thousand snacks to the winner, and like I say, four hundred to everyone if I don't get below two hundred. But you gotta guess now, or in the next five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Twin City Jeff is the last guess. All right, autopilot off. Full flaps. I lied. B2 is the last guess. That's that's favoritism toward B2, but he's got a three next to him name, so he, last rate. guess for is for B2. Think rate. Think rate. Unless he guessed twice. The TPM feels a little bit mushy here on, right now. Wind, diner, eh. Oh no, are we going around? Air 
116. Reversers in. Braking. Taxi range. Flaps coming up. That was actually inside the landing zone. It was a float, but it was inside the landing zone. I did have a I did have a bit of a quartering crosswind. It was only nine knots though. So not, that's not an excuse. Uh who got it? Who got who got closest to one sixteen? We have to scroll back, don't we? Aqua, 119. Very nice. Do you concur, Aqua? You got it? Did you catch any of PMDG's DC-6? No, but I don't like the DC-6 for P3D, so I don't think I would like the DC-6 for MFS. Flu Diddy, what do you think? Do you, do, are you impressed with it? Very nice. Okay, I need to I need to give uh I need to give D money's a thousand. Thank you guys again, Iowa Scotsman and Hat Trick for fulfilling the goal for a homie live. That was very kind of you. Exclamation snacks add uh D money's a thousand and exclamation snacks add um aqua 2000 All right, let's come up here. Looks like cutting it looks cutting edge for MSFS. There's a lot of detail in that plane. It's a little unassuming if you don't see the actual detail involved. Yeah, I just I don't know. I was excited that they announced that the 737 will be out this year. That is um, that makes me super happy. 